attention. The following video is totally going to kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large, please click the sub and like button down below. Enjoy. I love you, Chris. God damn it, Swagmaster, shut the fuck up. Being healthy. Or the win. Donic is my Jesus baby. Christ, Swag, this is an intro. Auction. I'm trying to buy Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. Ew! What? That's disgusting! Why do you want to buy an ear that someone bit off? Because nobody else has it, and I want it. Shh! It's coming out. All right! For our next item up to auction, we have Evander Holyfield's right ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. And to verify the authenticity of said ear, we have the Mr. Evander Holyfield! So, Mr. Holyfield, this is your ear, correct? <laughs> this ear is your ear, correct? <laughs> the ear on the table is in fact the ear that Mike Tyson bit off of you. Hey, let's see. I can hear you right now. You know my ear on the table. My apologies, sir. <laughs> so, Mr. Holyfield, everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my ear right there. And why are you selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills, dude. It's the rent, you know. I gotta pay. You heard it here first, folks. Even on the Holyfield needs to pay his rent. So, let's start the bidding at $1,000. I hit $1,000. $1,000 going once. $1,000 going twice. Nothing. Okay. How about $500? Anyone for $500? Bid on it, Boiny. $500 is too much. I can get a warmer. You in the back, sir. Uh, you're just getting up to use the bathroom. Understood. Maybe $100. Do I hear $100? You're in with it. Come on. $100? I'm buying it. $100. I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for $100. Congrats! Yes! Yes! I won! I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off! Yes! Boy, what are you going to do when you get your bitten off ear? Well, I'm going to put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. Whenever I meet people, I'm going to say, Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it. And they're going to say, No, uh, and then I'm going to whip it out to show them, and they're going to think I'm cool. But how are they going to know? Really his ear. Yeah. for the certificate of ear authenticity. Well, when does it get ear? It, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh, let's go to bed. I can't wait to get my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited. I'm not going to count sheep while I sleep. I'm going to count ears. One ear. Two ears. Boy, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. I know. That's how excited I am. Oh, boy, do you want to fool around? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boy, that's icky. I know. I'm going to sleep. Oh, come on. I was about to say, let me look at the guy. It's morning, Karen! Why? It's too early for this. I'm gonna go track my package. Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered. Package destroyed? What? Destroyed? Wait, what's wrong? I'm on the UPS website and it says my package was destroyed. What? No, let me check the news. A UPS plane has crashed into a children's hospital, destroying all the packages, and killing hundreds of people. What? Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe my luck! I know, boy, it's all! All those children are dead! Oh, my package is gone! Boy, this family's suffering out there! I'm suffering, Karen! I'm the one whose package got destroyed! Oh, why does God hate me? Why did he make this happen to me? Stop being so selfish, boy! Yeah, Karen, that was Amanda Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off! was irreplaceable. How on earth could this have happened? Cut it out with the puns, Boyne. It's not a joke. No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people die, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of a Vander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You can do that one more time, but I bet he's not going to do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not going to let him bite the other one off. Cut it out, Boyne. No, no, I'm going to go to the auction house and I'm going to say, how are you going to make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite the Vander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn guy, explain what's going on. Really? So I purchased a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off for $100 in an auction. And I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then BAM! The plane carrying the ear crashes 
and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind. So now, they owe me a Vander Holyfield's other ear, and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should be their job to give him a new Holyfield ear. Mm -hmm. Yes, that does make sense that it is UPS's fault that they are playing crash. So, Brooklyn guy, don't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the year? I don't want a refund. I want the Vander Holyfield ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They owe me a Vander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Amanda Holyfield's other ear off. Yeah. Wait, but I suppose I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? I could bite his other ear off? Yes, you have 24 hours to go bite Amanda Holyfield's ear off without it being considered a crime. But after that 24-hour period, it will become a crime. I'm gonna go bite his ear off. Well, thank you, Your Honor. Hey Marvin, why are you? I liked it better when you would knock before you came to my house. It's really important. Uh, ooh, I really do like your hair though. You look good. I don't feel good. Did you see on the news about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? I know, that was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I do feel bad. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever. But my package was one of a kind. It was irreplaceable. What was your package? Like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson did. You, you bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Okay, so why do you even care if it was only a hundred dollars? Because it's not about the money, Marvin. It's about the ear. And the judge says I have 24 hours to legally bite off a Vander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one. He was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, but I just came to you to see if you know where a Vander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is. I don't even know what he does now. Uh, well, maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. See, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, I googled his agent's phone number and I'm going to call him. Hello, you've reached Steve Stalberg, a talent agent. Uh, yes, do you represent a Vander Holyfield? I do. Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? Let's just say it's an ear. Well, what is it? In my mouth. What? Oh, I'm gonna bite his ear off because the judge said I could. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I was, I was, I hung up on him. Well, maybe because the way you approach the situation. Yeah, I probably should. Okay. So I wouldn't have said you were gonna bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just see what I can do. Okay, it's ringing. Hello? Steve Sandberg, I tell him, Agent. Uh, yes, you represent a Vander Holyfield, correct? This isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, 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 this is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Uh, okay, well, then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll send him my account. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Which Applebee's? The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Hello, welcome to Applebee's. What would you like to drink? <laughs> <laughs> sir. Oh, sir. Oh, oh, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. You know, I'm missing the ear now. Oh, I'm so sorry. What, what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Oh. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You want an autograph? No, that's okay. Okay. Well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetizer ear? Oh, uh, uh, what you got, what you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Oh, oh, I ain't really in a text mesh room. Oh, okay, well, what do you want? Mm -hmm. I'm about to go with a cheeseburger. Ooh, a cheeseburger ear. Good choice. Well, which one do you want? Take a good hard one. How about an impossible cheeseburger? Uh, okay, yeah. An impossible burger. 
we're getting out here. I'll go put that in. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburger ear and your cochlear mentory fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of your jokes. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Are you going to put that one? Are you going to watch me? Do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us. Yeah, can we, like, do it close to your face, though? Like, maybe, like, Lady in the Trampet? Holyfield's other ear while eating it. He actually did it. Why would you still have it in your mouth? I don't know. I just got it. Are you happy? Okay, well, that'd be like, that's disgusting. Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say, this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Logan. I'm officially Every single day. So please go subscribe to the new SNL Gaming channel for new content every single day. Alright, guys, that's right here on the video. I'm going to be kidding you. Subscribe to the channel. Please leave a like and comment down below. And what are you going to about this video right here? And I am a guy with my tights. <laughs> and that Jake Paul uh, and Mike Tyson Paul. What do you guys think about that fight? What do well, you think is going to happen? Well, Jake's probably going to get his ass beat by him. <laughs> so, okay. I'll see you guys uh, later. <laughs> Alright, I didn't know there was that many ear jokes. Like, that is just crazy to think that I could bring a lot of ideas for what I want to do with my Yeah, I'm trying to think of an ear joke right now, but I can't think of one. They're pretty good at making ear jokes. I thought about this. But yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. But if you're going to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Technically called Gamer Girl 23. She wants to get me a PS4 and a PS5 for some kind of reason. And I'm thinking when it. I get that you're stupid.